Welcome back, my friends. Today we're doing the second peel in our series. Chemical peels chemically burn to resurface the top layers of your skin. They work on hyperpigmentation, wrinkles, scars, and they trigger the injury response to produce more collagen. Now, depending on the depth and your skin health, this will determine the type of results that you will have. I do three a year in the winter. This is really a game changer for me. I thought it would be really fun to do a double chemical peel. Some of you may want to time your chemical peels to where you don't have to go in public. How'd you like the last one? I loved it. When you saw those when big dark spots? When my skin turned dark, dark brown, <laughs> I thought that I'm going to be like this forever. Yay! Bring it on. Are you ready? Bring it on. Okay, we just have to wash our faces. Okay, so we're about to peel. I'm going to peel her, and she's going to hold the fan while I peel me. That just means I don't trust her. <laughs> I'm not peeling you. I know. So last time we didn't get enough around her eyes. So we're going to do more around her eyes. We're going to start out by doing one coat of Jesner. Jesner was invented by Dr. Jesner. 14% lactic, salicylic, and resorcinol. So anyway, we're going to do that first. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm going to have to have my glasses Terrified. on. Terrified. Terrified? Good. I like Terrified. So pause your computer and read these precautions. Anyway, like I always say, disclaimer, we're not telling you to do this at home. So we're gonna start with Jesner. We're just gonna do one coat on each of our faces. Do this. <laughs> okay, we're gonna use the alcohol. I always use a fan because I don't like alcohol. You're gonna get all the grease off your face. I love the feeling of alcohol. I hate it. Look at all the dirt. Holy moly, and I just washed my face. Hmm. Fine. Okay, my alcohol is all dried up like me. So we've been degreased. The more oil you have on your skin, the more it buffers and the acid can't get in as well. We want to get our face really super dry so that that acid can go in and really burn our face. <laughs> Not scared. <laughs> What could go wrong? I don't want to scare you, but this is a chemical peel gone really wrong. So our faces are conditioned. We've been peeling a long time. So please start with a lighter peel and go stronger slowly. Think I'm training for a marathon. We're literally and acid you're peeling our face. What you know, we do to look in the mirror and feel better. Mm -hmm. I want you to concentrate more in here. So we're gonna go for the Jesner first. You ready? I'm ready, hit me. Not touch those beautiful tattooed eyebrows, or I would be in so much trouble. I'm not going right in, I'm going right at the edge. Oh, you're getting crinkly. Okay. I was crinkly, trust no, me. You're getting more crinkly. Here we go. It just feels like ants are biting your face, that's all. I'm gonna do the eye part. I'm gonna put this up here. I can really see the difference in my eyes from that last peel, definitely. Oh, burns. Ooh, but it oh, it's wasn't burning. Bad. So, we're gonna let this sit about five minutes. So I'm gonna put the neutralizer, which is just baking soda and water. So I'm neutralizing, and then I'm gonna wash this neutralizer off. Burns like a son of a gun. I'll let it sit a few minutes, and I'm just gonna wash my face. Uh, it feels so much better, <laughs> so much better. And now I'm gonna use the soap. What kind of soap? Actually, it came with the uh, TCA that I have. One of my good friends who does 30% peels on herself all the time, she recommended this to me because she said she's been using it for years. She's about 75 years old. Um, she has the face of a 30 year old. And yes, she gets plastic surgery and lifts and stuff, but I don't care how much plastic surgery you get. If you don't have nice skin, you don't have nice skin. And her skin is so beautiful. I want mine to look like that when I am 
75 years old. I've got the 30% TCA and I've got an 18% TCA. And we're doing these at home because as an esthetician, I can only do 15% or less. So here we go, let's do Denise. I have mixed not quite half and half. Oh, mm, here we go. Let's tighten that skin, close your eyes for me. There, we've got the face. So this stuff just stops itself. It goes to a you certain point. You cannot neutralize TCA. You just throw a 30 on and they can't take it. You can't take it off. You okay. just burn gotcha. their skin. So I'm kind of making sure that this Q-tip doesn't have too much when I go up here so I don't, it doesn't drip down in her eye. Yep, she's starting to frost. You can see it's actually called blanching. I'm just going where you haven't blanched. Yet. How's it feeling mm -hmm. right here? Okay, okay so. I'm blanching and I'm hurting, so just... Are you hurting? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm going to do my eyes first because that's always the worst. You have a little bump right here where you might have been a unicorn before. Oh, my God. Oh, that burns. Oh, oh. my God, that burns so bad. I am a stud. Oh, you are. I'm blanching big time. Around my mouth, I like to really micro-focus. So that I get it exactly where I want it. So I always use a Q-tip. That's like my little, that's my little thing. Can you see that guys? The white? Okay, now I have to do my face. <laughs> Here we go. It's great for the pores. So my forehead definitely can use a little more. Now I'm looking for little areas that haven't blanched yet and I'm gonna get them. So I think we're pretty much done, definitely done. I'm gonna wait the designated five minutes. So this is a neutralizer that they sell for the TCA. Now TCA actually can't be neutralized. When it goes on, it pretty much eats what it eats. It's baking soda and water and it brings the pH level back up. It's the burning that it stops. Okay, we need to get your neutralizer on. Um, is it burning? Yeah, it's... Okay. Oh, you are so white. You gonna peel. <sighs> Been five minutes. It kind of feels like I'm just rubbing a razor blade across my face, that's all. Other than that, it's perfectly fine. So this should get my pH back up to a nice, comfortable place. My nose is totally, oh, totally white. white. Yeah, it is on the end. I really did my nose a lot because I have huge pores. Um, I just look like I have too much highlighter on right now. I know, that's what I thought I looked like. Oh, the burn is starting to go away. It's amazing what the baking soda and water does. Oh, burn is gone. <sighs> that wasn't too bad, <laughs> was it? <laughs> so there we go. Now we're just going to wash our face, dry it. Um, it is nighttime and it's winter, so we can top it with some good stuff. And I really want to mention when you wash your face and you have chemicals on it, don't splash with water because then everything's going to fall in your eyes. What you want to do is just go over your face, wash over and cloth. over with a wrung out washcloth, blotting and really gently rubbing. I'm going to finish with some retinol just to kind of give it a little boost like it really needs it. <laughs> This one's by Control Corrective. It only burns for a minute, but it burns for a minute. Okay, and one last thing. How do I take care of the peel? When you're doing a really intensive peel, a lot of things can go wrong. Your skin can get infected as you start peeling. If my skin starts itching, I usually use a 1% hydrocortisone cream. It's just over the counter. You can use any kind of really super hydrating cream. This is my absolute favorite. You can get it on eBay. It's Biocorium Skin Water. It's amazing. And like an eight ounce tub is like $45. So it's a little over $5 an ounce. And it's really super thick as you can see. It reminds me of that La Mer cream, but that's like $300. And then I use this wonderful, looks like Vaseline, but it's not, has vitamin E and chamomile and all kinds of wonderful stuff. Also by the same company, Biocorium, it's called Water Screen. And so what I do is I put the skin water on first on a moistened face, and then I just press this over the top to seal it in. You never want your skin to dry out because that skin underneath is baby new 
and this skin is like starting to crinkle up and it's just gonna pull on that skin, irritate it. You just don't let your skin dry out, keep it super moist and just let it peel on its own. Never pull the skin off. You can cause more hyperpigmentation. That new skin will release the old skin when it's ready. We'll be back with you during our peel and let's see if our face can look super young and wonderful at the end of peel number two. Well, we'll see you in a few days. I really love essential oils for preventing infections and also to heal the skin. And then primrose oil as a carrier oil is amazing for acne or jojoba oil, which is the closest oil to our natural sebum. And then of course there's aloe vera. It's great for burns and a chemical burn is a burn, so aloe vera. Okay, it's only been 24 hours. I'm pretty crinkly. This is probably the most intense peel I've done. Now instead of it looking like I dove my face into a bowl of cherry jello, it looks like I dove my face into a bowl of gravy. It feels like fried turkey skin. I've never had it this dark. So I had these cuticle scissors. Never pull the peeling skin off, ever, ever. It is brand new skin that has no defenses. And then you gotta be really careful and take care of that baby skin. And under no circumstances go in the sun when it starts to peel for at least two weeks. After a chemical peel, you can experience so much hyperpigmentation, which is those dark spots. And I know this takes a little time, but you don't want all this hanging skin. Okay, so this is my face this morning. <laughs> I feel like a crinkled old Sharpe dog, actually. Oh man, this is looking good. <laughs> oh, there's some new skin. Wow. I'm just letting it peel. So for three days I've looked like this. It's red and it itches and it's been everything I can do not to scratch it. And I should put hydrocortisone on it, but rather than putting yet another chemical on my face, I'm doing one of my experiments. So I thought I'd try my Intellines petals. There are these amazing little plastic things that I use at night as a replacement to Botox because they hold your skin in place, but you put them on over your cream and it holds the moisture in. So I thought if I used a gentle moisturizer, it would help with the itching and help with the healing. And guess what? It totally worked. My skin feels so good this morning. So I always check out my creams. I see which ones burn after a chemical peel. You don't want anything that's going to irritate your new skin. It is so fragile. It's been 12 days. And how are you liking it? Here, take off your glasses. I Let's love see. it, but I'm still peeling a little bit. I don't know if it'll show up around the edges. Let's see. So where are you still having peeling? All around my hairline. Oh. It, I don't have dandruff. That's peel. <laughs> <laughs> and you're happy with it? Yeah. I, I really notice it. Under here? Yeah, you really wanted to get your under eyes. That's where I always notice the most after I do a chemical peel is around my eyes and my skin clarity. I'm like totally thrilled. I'm happy. This was not a five day peel. It was more like a, a 10 or 11 day <laughs> peel because I'm still peeling on the 12th day, <laughs> just around the edges. But are you happy you did it? Of course I'm happy. I just wish that facelifts were free. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, I wouldn't come back from the anesthesia. No, that's what happens to old people. So our chemical peel is over. We're happy. We're thrilled. And in 28 days, yes, indeed, I'm going to do this one more time. Are you going to do it again? I will. We'll do it around the 10th or 11th of February. And that'll be the last of the peels for the winter. So that'll be like three marathons. My skin is running and yours. I like it. <clears throat> I like it. And then I'm going to do one needling and then I'm done for the year. Then I just take care of my skin and I do my vitamin C my retinols, my little baby workouts for the rest of the year. That has been working so great for me. So anyway, that's it. Um, hope you guys have a great day. And if you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Keep us going. <laughs> okay. Okay. Bye. I hate these face ID things. But look at the age spots. I think they... Oh, that's my mother. How did she get in my phone? <laughs>